Uh, so, hi, uh, Nokri Learning viewers. Uh, we will be uh, discussing uh, regarding top cyber security certifications to do uh, in this particular video today. And uh, these uh, cyber security certifications are, uh, are you know, a guide to whoever wants to begin, uh, uh, begin working in this field. So and to enlighten you about the same, we have with us uh, Devishish Acharya. He has more than 12 plus years of experience and he has worked with uh, companies of the likes of Fidelity Investments, TCS, uh, Zensar Technologies, and he's a thorough cybersecurity professional. Uh, if you guys have any questions related to this topic, uh, say after you watch the video, then you can share it in the comment box below and uh, we will try to answer as many as we can later. So, uh, without any further delay, uh, De uh, Devishesh can begin. Uh, thank you, Niharika. And thanks to Nokri Learning for this opportunity. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the session. Uh, my name is Devashish, and I have overall 12 years of experience uh, in the IT industry uh, across cloud, cybersecurity, DevOps, and ERP domains. Uh, in this session, I'm going to talk about the top cybersecurity certifications for beginners. Uh, before we get on to the list, let's take a look at the reasons why someone should get certified in cybersecurity. So these are some of the top reasons. And the first thing is the cybersecurity is in very high demand currently, mostly driven by COVID as companies are adopting a digital first strategy. So they're by increasing their threat landscape and hence the demand for cybersecurity professionals have uh, gone up uh, by leaps and bounds in the recent time. Uh, second reason could be career advancement for someone who is already experienced in cybersecurity or somebody who uh, is uh, you know aspiring to switch career to cybersecurity. For them, certification is a very good way to advance their career and switch to cybersecurity. Uh, the third reason could be to better protect your organization's critical IT infrastructure and assets. Certification uh, improves your skills, thereby enabling you to uh, you know, protect your uh, critical IT assets in a better way. And uh, of course, using the security best practices uh, that certified professionals earn uh, higher salaries and they have an edge over their peers in the market. So research shows that certified professionals are earn almost 35% more than their peers. So these are uh, some of the you know, top reasons why you should get certified in cybersecurity. Now let's dive into the top five uh, cybersecurity certifications out there. Uh, so the first in the list is CompTIA Security Plus. It is a globally recognized and probably the most popular entry-level cybersecurity certification that validates your skills to perform core security functions as well as pursue a career in IT security. Passing this certification proves that you have the required hands-on skills to work on complex security requirements. It also ensures that you acquire the ability to assess the security posture of an environment, implement controls to secure hybrid IT environments, as well as operate and respond to security incidents within the applicable laws. Quantia Security Plus is approved by the US Department of Defense. So that means if you pass this certification, you are eligible to work for any US government departments. Talking about prerequisites, there are now no prerequisites uh, uh, to, to, to go for the CompTIA Security Plus certification, but CompTIA recommends that uh, you should uh, get a Network Plus certification and uh, should have at least two years of IT security administrative experience. That is recommended, but not must have. Uh, CompTIA Security Plus is suitable for candidates who are aspiring for a security administrator role, a security engineer role or a security analyst role. Moving on, next on the list, we have ISS Square SSCP. So when it comes to cybersecurity, ISS Square certifications are considered gold standard. And SSCP here stands for System Security Certified Practitioner. It is again another entry level cybersecurity certification, which shows that you have the required technical skills and knowledge to implement, monitor, as well as administer critical IT infrastructure using security-based practices. Like Compia Security Plus, 
Uh, SSCP is also approved by the U.S. Department of Defense. Uh, to qualify for SSCP, IC Square has certain requirements that you should have at least one year of cumulative paid full-time work experience in one or more of the seven domains. So you should have at least one year of cumulative work experience in one of these domains. If you have more uh, domains, that is perfectly fine. So the domains are access control, security operations and administration, risk identification, monitoring and analysis, incident response and recovery, cryptography, network and communication security, as well as systems and application security. So this certification is suitable for professionals uh, who are aspiring for roles like security administrator, security analyst, as well as network security engineer. Uh, so let me also highlight that if you do not have the required experience uh, in this any in any of these domains, then you have uh, you know another uh, option to always go for an associate of IS Square membership, and later on. When you gain the required work experience, you can always, uh, you know, apply for a full-time membership with ISSP. So moving on, uh, we have uh, AC Council CEH, which stands for a Certified Ethical Hacker. So this certification needs no introduction because this is the most popular penetration testing certification ever. So currently, CEH, uh, we have version 11 is going on. Uh, and uh, it has been, you know, it is, it is continuously updated by the EC Council, who is the you know, parent organization behind this certification. So, Certified Ethical Hacker ensures that candidates learn the latest commercial tools for lawfully hacking an organization. So, why would someone lawfully hack an organization? That is to explore or discover the vulnerabilities that are out there in the organization's network and applications. And uh, you know, once you discover the vulnerabilities and the weaknesses, the organizations patch them before the bad actors exploit them. So basically, the people certified in ethical uh, hacking they help the organizations protect their IT infrastructure before bad actors exploit them. Now, prerequisites uh, for this uh, certification is at least two years of information security experience uh, that is required uh, by IC Council. And if you do not have the required experience, don't worry, you still can attend the official training provided by AC Square. Uh, I mean, sorry, the official training provided by EC Council, and uh, that compensates for the lack of uh, experience. And uh, this uh, CEH certification is uh, you know, suitable for almost every cybersecurity role. It is a very foundational certification. You can see this across any job description out there in the market. So Anyone in the cybersecurity role can go for it. Um, next on the list, uh, the fourth one, uh, we have uh, GIAC Certified Security Essentials, abbreviated as GSEC. So GSEC is, again, a very popular entry-level cybersecurity certification that covers a breadth of topics, starting from fundamentals, defense in depth implementation, penetration testing, as well as forensics. So the training courses for GSEC is provided by SANS Institute, which is a premier cybersecurity training and certification institute. So SANS Institute and GX certifications, they always go together, where SANS Institute is the training provider. They, they provide the training and uh, materials, whereas the GX is the certifying agency. Uh, again, talking about prerequisites, so there are no prerequisites, but uh, you know, Science Institute uh, recommends uh, that uh, at least you should have basic knowledge of computers, networks, and security. Uh, so another important thing to keep in mind uh, if you aspire for GSEC or any other science uh, training uh, and certification for that matter, uh, that science and GX, uh, science training and GX certifications are you know, usually expensive. Uh, so you have to you know, plan your budget, keep your budget in mind. Uh, if you are opting for this certification. And uh, this certification is suitable for anyone who is new to information security, with some background in uh, information systems and networking. So that is recommended and, but again, not a must have. Um, and also the professionals in roles like uh, security administrators, penetration testers, uh, forensic analysts, 
as well as auditors can also opt for this certification which is very useful for them as well. Um, next, uh, last but not the least, uh, we have another one for IS, from IS Square, which is entry level cybersecurity certification. It has been uh, launched recently and uh, it is launched uh, specifically to you know bridge the gap between somebody who is a fresher or you know college uh, recent graduate who wants to build a career in cybersecurity. Uh, for them, uh, instead of going for something. Now, some of the certifications that we just discussed, uh, this certification is for absolute beginners who do not have any experience. And ISSGAR also does not you know, mandate even a formal education. So that is very helpful for beginners. And uh, what is required is just you know, passion in cybersecurity, and you can go for this certification. Currently, the exam is in pilot mode. And uh, you can always, you know, take advantage as long as this offer lasts. Uh, there is introductory pricing, which is uh, much lower than any other, you know, uh, IC square certifications. And also, you get two exam attempts. Uh, that is one extra attempt you are getting uh, if you are going for this certification right now. I'm not sure how long the offer is going to last. And uh, the, the concepts uh, covered by this certification. Uh, security principles, uh, business continuity, disaster recovery, and incident response, access controls, network security, as well as security operations. And uh, as I mentioned, there are no prerequisites. You just need a passion for cybersecurity to go for this application. Is this suitable for IT professionals, career changers who want to switch to cybersecurity career, and as well as college students, as well as recent graduates, they can also opt for this uh, certification. So uh, that's it from me. Uh, thank you for watching and all the best for your cybersecurity certification. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Devishesh, for uh, coming on board and sharing your knowledge with us. And uh, for anyone uh, who is watching this video, they can uh, just you know look out for more content uh, on Nokri Learning. We will be talking uh, again about cybersecurity or other skills also. So you can subscribe to the channel and uh, get to know more uh, of what you know whatever new content comes up and uh, thank you so much devishesh